Hi, this is Patty with Supernatural Parenting with Patty and Zari, and we are here to give you tips to make you super, which you are, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, and you know that I've done a, a few videos, well, maybe you don't know, but sir, I have done a few videos on uh, like breaking the spirit of fear. You can look those up, and Zari has too. And one of my favorite verses, God has not, 2 Timothy um, 1, 1, 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. God has not given our children a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Decree and declare it. Believe and receive it. And... I was going over some verses that the Lord gave me. Uh, you can Google it, you know, against the spirit of fear, the fear verses, whatever. So I want to share some stuff with you. I have my handy dandy glasses on. 2 Kings 6, 16 through 17 says, Don't be afraid. Elijah, oh, Elijah told him, for there are more on our side than on theirs. Then Elijah prayed, Open his eyes and let him see. And the Lord opened his servant's eyes, and when he looked up, he saw that the hillside around Elijah was filled with horses and chariots of fire. So, don't be afraid. This is what God is telling us. Elijah told him, For there are more on our side than on theirs. Then Elijah prayed, O oh Lord, open his eyes and let him see. Lord, open his servant's eyes when he looks up. And he saw this hillside, saw that the hillside around Elisha was filled with horses and chariots of fire. And I kind of prayed that. I'm like, open my eyes, God, let me see, you know, who's there with me. Open my eyes, God, let me see. And I saw like these, like this little angel scoot across and like get in line, like, oh, they're like all scooting across. And like with me was like all these angels like spreading out way out like wings. And then I saw one little demon just bothering somebody in my family. And that when that person came into contact with me, I could either listen to that little bitty demon or I could be aware that of all that's with me and how afraid that enemy is. When you, when the Holy Spirit opens your eyes, and I pray that in Jesus' name, that the Holy Spirit would open your eyes, that you can see all that is with you. Um, and there are a couple other verses. Matthew 10, 26. But don't be afraid of those who threaten you, for the time is coming when everything will be revealed. Everything will be revealed. All that is secret will be made public. So things will be revealed, and all that is secret will be made public. So I ask God to, you know, like reveal things to me, reveal um, the secrets and what you're doing and what the truth is, not what the enemy is trying to portray. And I pray that for you. Also, uh, let's see what else. Luke 10, 19. And I have been given you authority over all the power of the enemy. And you can walk among the stakes and the scorp scorpions and crush, and crush them. Nothing will injure you. So we've been giving authority over all the power of the enemy. We've been given authority over all the power of the enemy. And I like ask God to help me to see that. Help me to see that I've been given power. And I pray right now in Jesus name that we, you and I would see our authority and the power over the enemy. And you can walk among the snakes and scorpions and crush them. 
we can walk among them, the enemy, and we can crush them in the lives of our children, in the lives of our family, in, the, in our own lives. I decree and declare we can crush them. And I also asked God for evidence that I could see evidence. Let me see what else, what other verse I had. Exodus 14, 14, which is the Lord himself will fight for you. And you will not have to live a finger in your defense. The Lord himself will fight for you. And you will not have to live a lift a finger for your defense. And I'm just like, God, I want to see evidence. I've been praying for this person, these people, whatever. I know I can see evidence. You're with me. You're fighting for me. I don't have to lift a finger. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to get on to people. So I said, God, I want to see the evidence. The evidence of your power and your love and sound mind upon these people. So I decree and declare it, believe and receive it, that I and you will see the evidence today of the Lord fighting for us. Okay? That's all. And remember, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you are super. Believe it. Receive it, decree it, declare it.